They converted the old incinerator into a recycling plant. A perfectly good incinerator going to waste. So why did it cause a little pollution? I'm right on it, Mom! Doesn't your mother usually make your lunch? Or are you just saving time by getting your food pre-chewed? For your information, I have to bring something to recycle to school for Earth Week. You should thank me. I'm helping save the planet. So, who's going to save the planet from you? Go ahead, make fun. But at least I'm doing something about the problem instead of just floating in a fishbowl all day. What smells in here? Uh, uh, must be a plate I left on my desk. I'll get it after school. Mm, mm, much <coughs> better. It's like <coughs> a gentle spring-like <coughs> breeze. <coughs> <coughs> Mom, you're killing the ozone layer. <coughs> ah! Beanie, the trash bag. Uh, stay out of my room. So from now on, I don't wrap my lunch because all the packaging only ends up in the landfills. And by switching to natural cleaning products, I won't be polluting our lakes and rivers. I can't take another step. I'm exhausted. What are these anyway? They're my dad's old people mechanics. Back then, protecting the environment meant covering the furniture with plastic. And your dad was just gonna throw them out? He doesn't understand all the work required to make new paper. Think of the energy I'm saving by recycling these magazines. Just floating in my fishbowl. Is that all these people think I do? I think I'll help them celebrate Earth Week with a blast of black smoke, that is. I'll start up at the old incinerator and cover the entire town in soot. Of course, actually getting there might be a problem. Hello, the endangered bombastic blue whale. Instead of saving the whales, how about saving me instead? Hmm. I could practically pass for a better looking brother. All I need is a little touching up. Well, <clears throat> I think we have a clear winner. Congratulations, Elwood. Here's your eco trophy for doing a splendid job for the environment. <laughs> This toilet bowl cleaner should do the trick. Pine fresh scent. Do humans really want to pretend they're going to the bathroom in the forest? We have a very special guest with us today. <clears throat> Give a special eco welcome to the founding president of Green Space and one totally eco friendly dude. Oh, wait, man. That's me. Testing, one, two, uh, can I have the lights, please? Pollution is spilled into the air every day, man. But factories and cars aren't the only problem. Methane is a huge source of greenhouse gases. This dumb animal pollutes every time it cuts the cheese. Only you can stop the silent killer. I'm home! how much trouble you're in, young man. I've been trying to get the smell of garbage out of the house all day. You tracked it everywhere. Well, it's not my fault we produce our own body weight in trash every day. What on earth are you talking about now? My class went to the eco center today. You wouldn't believe all the stuff that people throw out. Is that where you got all these samples? Yeah, they're supposed to be all natural and good for you, you know. Uh, there's even a brochure. Enhance your chakra and tune your aura through aromatherapy. Well, I better feed Admiral Bubbles. Yesterday I caught him calling out for pizza with anchovies. No, we can't have anchovies. Did you know we're not getting enough wheatgrass juice? About time. 
The service is horrible in this place. I'll be sure not to leave a tip. I'll call Amnesty International. <gasps> what the? Is this your idea of a joke? Clumsy, you. How did toilet bowl cleaner end up in my fish food, I wonder? Just what are you trying to pull? Hey, you poured it in my bowl, so technically I'm not to blame. Besides, it's a good color on me. I think it brings out my eyes. One last touch. Actual size. There, that should take care of any nagging question. You are one gorgeous looking bombastic blue whale. No wonder you're endangered. Everyone's going to want a piece of you, you hunk. And now, to be rescued. Definition on that TV is amazing. Well, I am an endangered bombastic blue whale in Jeopardy. Jeopardy? What does that mean? It means that I am in trouble. Oh, there's even an address, Fang. We gotta go, man. That innocent creature needs us. I better take the fire escape in case there's guards or something. I think this is it. Window's just around the corner. I'm here to save you, man! Sweet mercy, I'm being rescued by the village idiot. Hey, there you are! Looks like a bombastic blue whale to me. Don't worry, little guy. I'll save you. Um, actually, I've changed my... Oh. oh, no, sweetie. That stuff's full of sugar. I thought that was the whole point. I've been reading that brochure you brought home, and we need to make healthy choices. I got you this instead. This has 20 essential vitamins and minerals and zero sugar. Zero taste. Huh? He's gone. Who's gone, sweetie? Uh, uh, did, did, did I say he? Uh, I mean it. Fish food. You know, all all gone. I need to go. Thing was being kept in captivity, man, in a bowl made from unrecyclable material. I'm going to recreate its natural habitat right here at the Eco Center based on this information I found. So, here it is, folks. The rare, bombastic blue whale. Um, isn't it kind of small for a whale? Looks like a goldfish dyed blue to me. Look, man, who's the expert here? Do you, do you have any diplomas or university degrees? No. Do you? Okay, conference is over. If you have any other questions, ask the whale. What? <laughs> uh, I think I'll buy the fish food at the Eco Center for a change. <laughs> Wait, I'll go with you. I'm out of aura healing incense. Here it is. Yeah, great. Listen, I, I think I'm gonna see the exhibit. I I'll see you back home, okay? Actually, no. I almost like the old hippie. He's making it possible for me to prepare a little surprise for the town for Earth Week. Get away from that. 
Don't you know I'm an endangered species? Read the sign. Hey there, little dude. You like the whale? Look, don't you see? He's using you so he can take over the world. He just told me so himself. The whale isn't really a whale. He's my pet goldfish in disguise. So you're the one. You're, you're like the littlest poacher ever. Not cool, man. I think you should leave. What'd you do, buy the entire shop? I decided that we need to make changes for the better. We have to clean our spirit as well as our body. Is your environment toxic? I took the test and we failed. So I cleaned everything out. No more chemicals, no more junk food, no more artificial anything. But you can make yourself a nice alfalfa sandwich if you want. Uh, thanks, but I had something else in mind. I also threw out your secret stash of candy bars under the bathtub. Yeah! How am I supposed to battle evil with alfalfa? I need brain food. I need sugar. Ah, there's that old sugar rush. Okay, think. What would I do for Earth Week if I were a goldfish mastermind? And why did he want to get to the eco center? It's just an old abandoned incinerator converted into a recycling plant. Of course! He's going to fire up the furnace! Finally, the gawkers are gone. Thanks for undoing the latch for me, BD. Bingo! I can go anywhere using the floor drain. Who turned out the light? Bad kitty! I'll make a vegetarian out of you yet. Fang, no! That's bad for you, dude. Come on, I'll open up a can of your favorite tofu tuna temptation. Poor little guy. This place must be like a jungle for you. Sorry, dude. We're closed for the rest of the day. Listen, I need to apologize for earlier. Let me make it up to you. I can watch over Admiral, but I mean the whale for you. Uh, we can work in shifts. No way, man. Besides, I've been thinking about this and we're both wrong. That poor whale isn't any better off in a tank here. First thing tomorrow morning, I'm sailing out to return it to the wild. You mean the sea? I'd never find him in a million years. Do you have any idea what he's capable of? Wow, like you're getting all weird on me again. I'm not gonna discuss it. So long, man. Um, I live here, so uh, you're the one who has to leave. Touching. He came to check on me. I'm almost going to miss the little nincompoop once I'm gone and the town is trapped under a toxic cloud. I gotta find a way in. And now to perform a little destruction and mayhem. How do I get that latch open? Well, hello. Kitty wants a rematch. I promise to let you have a lick if you open the tank. That's a good kitty. Go on, try to catch me. Bingo! Don't you know it's not polite to play with your food? Ugh, compost! Can't people 
recycle more pillows or cushions instead? Okay. If Admiral Bubbles gets the recycling pile into the old furnace, all the plastic and styrofoam will go up in smoke. Literally. The town will disappear in a toxic cloud. I gotta make that recycling pile disappear. Warning. Extremely toxic material must either be specially treated or just dumped here. But where does it go? Oh well, I guess the sign knows better. Man, this looked a lot easier in the sandbox. Well, looky here. It's a veritable shrine to moi. How mercantile. I'm not sure I like being turned into souvenirs, but I guess I should be flattered. It'll have to do until they can build a proper shrine to my greatness. I need a way to stay out of the water longer. Hello. What have we got here? Admiral Bubbles try and pollute the town now. I can't wait to tell him. Curse that boy. He may have won this battle, but I have more than one trick up my sleeve. He's coming this way. Rats! I can't see a thing! You? Again? Want to play follow the leader? Guess what I just did? You're not gonna like... He's out of his tank. Probably strolling around without a care in the world. Admiral Bubbles, okay, you won. Come out so I can congratulate you. I think I've lost him. Okay, back to the drawing board. Where do I find another ton of trash to burn on short notice? Hmm, perfect. <laughs> That's the last bit. Tomorrow, as I let the hippie drive me out to freedom, the alarm clock will start the incinerator and I'll be able to admire my handiwork from afar. All this cheap merchandise is going to go up in flames like old tires. There'll be so much smoke, the town won't even see me waving goodbye. Happy Earth Week. <laughs> gotcha! I thought you'd come out here sooner or later. Guess I foiled your plan to pollute the town, huh? My plan to... Oh, right. Yes, you sure did. Boy, is there egg on my face. And this time, I'm taking you back with me. Feeding time! There you go, little guy. Eat all you want. Tomorrow, you're gonna be free. I'll just make sure nothing happens to you until then. <coughs> Too bad. You just got locked out. Better luck next time. And you're locked in. So you're not going anywhere. I'll be back tomorrow first thing in the morning. I'm watching you. Better watch where you're going instead, champ. to see me off. I'm touched. You can tell me all about it once we're back home. How do you get this thing off? Ah, right on cue. I believe that bell's for you. Time to wake up and smell the toxic smoke, Beanie. What did you do? I gave you a choice. You can either follow me to the dock and keep me from escaping to sea, or you can stop the incinerator from choking the town in pollution. Either way, I win. I 
the chimney baffle. If I can at least sh sh shut it off. <laughs> plant leads to. Don't worry, it'll fade away eventually. Plus, I think you look kind of good in blue. It's more ecological. Go ahead. Laugh while you can. You're still no match for my superior intellect. Hey, I managed to capture an endangered bombastic blue whale, didn't I? We need to take all this toxic eco-center merchandise to the curb. None of it's recyclable. Isn't that ironic? You? Dude, the Earth doesn't pay very well. Oh, great! More garbage! Hey, Beanie, you know what would be great right about now? A nice, juicy slice of pizza. Yeah! With extra cheese and whole the veggies! Oh, now you're talking. If you see that bombastic blue whale, tell it I hope it gets caught in some fisherman's net. 